Hey guys, Stavros here from RPM Auto Reviews. I'm at the Canadian Auto Show in Toronto. Check out this new Lexus LS500. That's gorgeous. This is great here if you want to grate some cheese or something like that. It's a nice little design for that. It's got the uh, venting there to cool it down. Really nice. 245, 40, 21. The tires are the um, Michelin Pilot Super Sports. It's up to 275, 35, 21. The front of 245, the back of 275. Really nice swoopy design, check that out. I'm sure this will be an active vent that goes right through to cool the brakes. It's got a little unusual little thing here for reaching in and opening the door. Nice little spoiler here and it looks like it does does rise up and down wow. Got a chromey thing going on over here and the lights are on there it'd be interested to see them when the lights are on up has this kind of carbon fiber pattern looking thing with really shiny in the top no sunroof have a look inside case frame list on the top So for you cowboy lovers out there who just love Saddle Brown, they Saddle Brown the sh out of this one. The soft touch here, weighty material here. It's hard but with a soft rubbery feel here. Uh, leathery soft stuff here, harder down there. It's got a two-tone uh, brown, tanny Saddle Brown kind of thing going on there. Is that Saddle Brown or is it too light for that? I don't know, but it's definitely it looks like it came off of a horse. Lumbar support seems to be two-way. The seating, usual seating. Let's have a seat inside. Okay, so. The steering wheel, I think the battery turned off. The steering wheel is too high and I can't lower it. It's power steering wheel. The seat is very bucket seat. It hugs me very nice. Similar as you can see this one, how narrow it is there is very buckets. Very soft, the suede material is very soft. Uh, the thigh support is a little bit narrow as well and hugs me very well. So it would not be good for big people, that's for sure. We have um, this thing. Okay, so this opens up two ways. It's not too deep, but it's got a USB, an auxiliary, and 12 volt there. I think there's supposed to be a cup holder or something here, if something's missing. So I can see the, the bottom of the bowl, so something's missing. It's got the padded here, so you can rest your finger and do the touch pad. Usual knobs here for controlling some of those media things and radio. Auto hold, shifters over here. It looks like it's electronic and it reads out here where you're at and it's got the button for the P. A little cubby, oh, it's the cup holder there. Looks like it has a CD player still. A lot of the uh, leather here and the vents are kind of really narrow here that's a weird little leather uh, uh, sorry a weird venting there it's a little narrow I wonder how effective that might be it's got like a plastic clear glass with some kind of texture thing hiding behind it I can't feel the texture thing behind that old-fashioned uh, clock and here it looks like the infotainment screen is kind of also hiding behind this uh, cover so it's not the screen is not right here there's a plastic cover in the way which definitely got causes glare and I can see the reflection of my fingers off there so that might not, not have been the best idea saddle brown baby 
So look at all this. Yeah, all, all settled brown up here, suede material. SOS button up here, frameless mirror. Again, you guys know I don't like this thing here. It's a cool tool to hold on or something, but um, again, somebody sitting here wants to reach here to, for whatever reason you're driving, they want to do something, they can't reach it. This is kind of blocking the way, but it's whatever. A lot of cars have that. Um, I don't love it. It's soft down here, so that's a bonus. A lot of hard buttons here for what looks like would be the um, climate control or the stereo. I can't tell. I can't see anything. It's got paddle shifters and the usual buttons for the uh, cruise control and the uh, media and the radio. A heads-up display adjustment here. And it looks like the full screen will be a digital display there. It's the same as the other uh, car that we were in earlier. It has this funny little... Frankenstein buttons on both sides of the head. This is too high, I think, as well. It's very comfy. I'm not saying I wouldn't love to own this vehicle, but uh, I just not loving some of this over here. I love the saddle brown. Giddy up. I think Clint Eastwood would love this uh, interior too. Uh, the back seat is definitely just for your suitcase or a small bag to go on the weekend getaway with the wife or the hobby or whoever well very interesting car i love the interior in general i just i mean there's a few points i mentioned that i'm not loving about it um but it is cool like suede suede brown kind of thing with the red interior is that the right mix uh, i don't mind it i'm old school guy who loves my spaghetti western so i don't mind that now notice this, the side profile, how wide the car gets at the back. This is definitely gets more wider at the back than the front. You can see that from here, where the car swoops out. 